A water mystery in Flat Rock continues. Officials trying to determine the source of a contamination of the Huron River. Monday night, a fisherman spotted some kind of oily substance on the water that is parallel to the river. Victor Williams live now from Flat Rock with where the investigation stands now. Victor. Yes, Devin, this is a leak that is considered to still be very much active. And as this investigation continues, there is still no idea what that is in the water or where it's coming from. It's a complicated issue. Um, we've got a really great team uh, looking at all angles on, on how to uh, figure out how to get to the source of this. Spokesperson Jill Greenberg says Eagle, the EPA and the city of Flat Rock are now all putting their heads together to find an answer to the question of what substance may be in a back channel of the Huron River. The Environmental Protection Agency has collected one sample last night two today. Um, those will go out uh, to be analyzed. Right now you can call this the investigation and stabilization phase. Here's a look at helicopter footage showing a vacuum truck being used to remove the gasoline sentence sheen from the water. Booms are still being used to keep the substance contained to one part of the back channel. We're confident that the sheen hasn't moved back into the Huron River. So far, the biggest obstacle is identifying the source of the leak because of its presumed location. It's really important to get to the bottom of what, what this is. The true challenge is that it's underwater. At least it appears to be at this point. Results of those samples taken are supposed to be back within the next few days. So, of course, we'll keep you updated. In Flat Rock, Victor Williams, Local 4. Yeah. All right, Victor.